We are here with Richard from Signal Stuff, Signal Stick Antennas, one of my absolute favorite antennas for HTs in the world, and he's going to tell us what he's got going on. Let's check it out. All right, so the first thing I like to tell people when they ask what we're doing here is why we're doing it. Uh, so a lot of you may be familiar with HamStudy and Exam Tools. HamStudy is a system that I built out of frustration from all of the uh, people coming through my father-in-law's class mm -hmm. who were... They failed the exam by just a tiny bit, and then it uh, turned out you know they hadn't seen all the questions, and it took them a long time. A lot of people are studying, and even still, too many people study just using practice exams. And practice exams are great, but it's also statistically ridiculously inefficient. Uh -huh. uh, and so I, I wanted to build a system that would be more efficient for studying, and I'm not an author, so I wrote, it's, it's focused around the question pool. Anyway, so that's, that came up about from that. And then at the same time, I was also a volunteer examiner. And so side by side, I've been also building systems for improving uh, amateur radio testing. Mm. And so ham study is the, the study side, exam tools is the testing side. And exam tools, uh, I'm gonna add this plug because a lot of volunteer examiners have heard of exam tools as the system that most people are using for remote exams. They don't realize that it was built for in-person exams. Um, okay. And all data collected by, from exam tools, from all of the uh, license exams issued, is actually shared with the question pool committee so that they can prove the future exam pools. Um, and most of the VECs, including the, the major ones, can actually import the data, the session information directly, so they don't have to type things in. All of the paperwork is, is sent digitally. Yeah. All the signatures are digital. The certificates can be emailed. And so processing everything afterwards is much faster. It's like Less work on the sessions, uh, so I think we've we've done a great job on that. And the reason that I can keep most of that free, you know, exam tools, I request donations from from teams that charge money if they have it available after paying for the other expenses. Uh, and some of the VECs uh, give me a little bit. But the main thing that supports that are the is signal stuff. Yeah. Um, so these super elastic signal sticks. Ah, thank you. Um, this is my standard demo. This is a super elastic signal stick. <laughs> it's dual band. It's got a lifetime warranty. Uh, you don't want to leave it like that for, you know, days or weeks on end. Yeah. Because it will eventually start to get a little bit of a memory. But um, you can coil it up, put it in your pocket. And, uh, yeah, we, we actually built these in my garage. Well, partly in my garage. My brother-in-law is doing a lot of it now. I've had okay. to bring in some additional people. But these are all handmade, so it's not going to be aesthetically perfect. But we've just been improving these gradually uh, year over year and never thought it would get as big as it is. Yeah. Uh, but that's, that's what we've got. We've also got some mobile antennas. There's a half wave and a quarter wave and a mo mount. Okay. We've so got the... Your... Uh, this is the half wave, I would uh, guess. Here's my BNC mag mount over oh, yeah. here. Uh, if you're already using a BNC adapter on your radio or you have a, a BNC radio, uh -huh. you pull the signal stick off your radio, drop it onto the BNC mag mount, slap yeah. the mag mount on your roof, and then plug the connector from the uh, BNC from the coax just right back into your radio. Yeah. It's pretty much the fastest grab and go option I, this is I know what, of. Uh, Jason KM4 ACK uses on yeah, his car. He's, he's been pushing those quite a bit, yeah. getting more and, and this more is popular. 100 watts, too. I don't know if a lot of people know that. Yeah, they're 100 watts. Yeah, um, so you're not gonna hurt I, I wouldn't do that at full duty cycle, but uh, a lot of people don't, you know, I've had people question that, but this is about the simplest design known to man. There's yeah. even some YouTube videos showing you how to make a clone. Uh, I, I commented on one of them with some suggestions on improvable, for, uh -huh. for improving it, improving it. My ability to speak is degrading the further the <laughs> in, in this event we get. But uh, yeah, so. That's us, it's been a lot of fun. Awesome, well thanks so much, and where can people find you? So signalstuff.com is where we sell most of these online. Uh, I don't get out to a lot of these shows because I'm in Utah, I will be at Hamcon Zion in July. Oh, cool. um, and maybe we'll see if we can make it out to Hamcation next year, but uh, it's a bit of a trip for us, so we'll have yeah. to see. It's, yeah, for sure. It's been fun, I actually drove to Hamvention this time, 1900 miles. So wow. I'm not sure I'm willing to do that all the time. <laughs> That's a hike. <laughs> right on, man. Well, thanks for taking time out of your day to talk to us. Thanks for coming See by. You.